Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, Jordan, we're playing French fries, please. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Like all my videos that I upload to my on Roblox community channel. Just looks so funny in the camera whenever I do that. <laughs> well, hello, guys. I really like these, like, kind of games where, like, it's the hot dog, please, or, or like, french fries, please. So, that's why I like these games so much. I've seen them a lot on my For You page, so these are newer, I think. So, hi, guys. Doing? doing a video <laughs> yeah y'all today um been kind of like i can admit this honestly i've been kind of in a crap mood been kind of in like a crap mood because I've just missed my cat so freaking much. And like on top of it all, I have a big ELA thing due. Like I just did step two of it today and like I'm really nervous about that too. I passed step one, which is a, which is a surprise, but just like yeah, y'all got out of I just got out of like a crap mood, so to be honest, I ate and then I felt a little better, but I just miss my cat so freaking much like it's just so hard like honestly i can it i'm how <laughs> does miss her like it it just happened sporadically out of nowhere we're just like i gave billy a melatonin and um we're not trying to do that like i just want her to take a nap i mean i'm sorry i won't do that again but just like yeah, like, and that's kind of when, like, the bad mood started to pile up on me after that. It's because, like, honestly, I just felt kind of alone because when it's normally on my side, and, like, this time she's not, so I guess that's not a thing anymore. But you know what I mean by that? It's just, like, when, you know, like, when it will back me up. Like, she didn't back me up this time, you know? Like, I don't know what was going on with that, but I don't know. I don't really see that being a thing anymore anyways. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I just got out of, like, a crap mood. Like, getting on, well, not gonna lie, it's not like it was a ridiculous reason for giving the baby melatonin and me getting on, well, my mom getting on to me, but it's like, it didn't make anything better with, like, me thinking about my cat all day and, like, also having this big ELA thing do. Like, that just didn't help. And I don't know, I just got overwhelmed and exhausted and tired and stressed all at the same time. And I just took it out. So. I don't know, just. <laughs> I guess I can also add in here too that it's just part of being a teenager where you're just moody. But still, I mean. I mean, I really have been thinking about my cat all day, though. And also, ELA, like, one of the hardest subjects there ever has been. And, yeah, I don't know. I won't give the baby melatonin again, but just, like... Yeah, I don't know. Just been stressing out. Just ever since my cat passed. Things haven't been easy since then, so. 
had kind of a weird day. It just really hurts to know that she's not here anymore. Makes me feel really lonely too because it's just like I would tell my cat anything, guys. Like she would be like the real person. I am mean, the real person. The real cat I would vent to. Like I can tell by like her inner her energy towards me and like her facial expressions that she definitely understood me in a way like she's not gonna give me advice like oh punch him back or something like that you know just an example but like I can tell that Mavis under understood what I was telling her like she knows well she knew if I was having a bad day like it's a really freaking big deal that she isn't around anymore to just I don't know just to be here not just to tell her stuff but just like to be in our household it's a very big deal because I've had that cat forever my whole entire life my whole life I've known that cat well I mean not like my actual whole life like since I was five turning six years old I've known that cat it's such a big deal to me that she's gone and I'm not taking it very well and also on top of that, like I said, I've had ELA stuff to do. Like, it's wrong timing for all of this, honestly. Like, I just hate it. Like, it's so hard just being a teenager in school. And also having to deal with, well, in middle school, and having to deal with a cat passed away. Like, it's so sad. Like, I was eating my lunch and just crying. Just be, Well, not crying. Like, I didn't cry for long. But I, that was, ugh. I can't even get words out. But, yeah, like, ugh, I'm not okay, guys, without that cat. Like, I'm not myself, I guess. I try to be myself, but it's just so hard knowing that she's not here, and... Yeah. I mean, I'll feel a little better once her urn gets here, but, like, it's still really hard knowing that she isn't gonna snuggle me anymore. She's not gonna lay on my bed. She's not gonna want the attention. She's not gonna be in my space, you know, it just makes me really sad, like, when I say I'm not okay, I am not okay, like, I was, I, I was texting my mom, I was just like, mom, I'm not trying to be upset at you, but I just have a lot going on, like, I tried to vent to her, telling her that I have a big ELA project due, and I miss my cat at the same time, she's not here, it's just a lot for me to take in, I, you might be like, uh, two things, not bad, but, like, once you're, once you're in my shoes, it's a lot. Like, I don't know. When, like, ELA stuff is worth a lot of points, like, I don't want to fail at the same time, but I just really miss my cat. Like, it's really a lot. Like, I get sweaty and, like, I get anxiety over it. He's like, I just want to try my best and not fail, but then, like, I have a cat well, I had a cat that just passed away. Like, it's so much to take in. Like, I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry that I got mad at you, but, uh, well, <laughs> took it out on you, but I'm not mad at you. And, like I said, too, like, just with Lennon, just not being on my side to defend me, didn't really help at all. You know, it was wrong. It's just wrong timing for all of it. I wish the ELA stuff could wait, but it really can't. And, yeah, I already got crap today just because, um, I did on, I said, I did step two out of class. Like, I did it before class, so she got kind of on to us about that. I mean, she wasn't mad or anything, but she wanted us to do it in class, but she said, okay, yeah, I understand if you want to give it a try, but I'm just like, I wanted to give it a try by myself. And I feel actually pretty good about step two, but. It's just a lot. I don't know, guys. Hopefully you guys get where I'm coming from. You teenagers out there. Hopefully you guys get a little bit of my shoes right now. Oh, that's a lot of french fries. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's just a lot. Oh, ELA and your cat passing away? Not, not too bad. Not a lot. But when you're in my shoes, you'll realize it's a lot. 
I know some parents are just like, I'm not saying this is my parents or anything, but like some parents say, oh, teenagers and kids, they have it super easy, but in reality, we really don't. Like, we have to deal with school, we have to deal with grades, we have to deal with bullies. Like, don't, don't just look at a, let's say a minor, and just think that their life is easy. Just because you're an adult doesn't mean that your life is harder than theirs. They could, they could have way more going on than I do, but just like, I don't know, what I'm trying to say is don't judge a book by its cover. Oh, you're just a 13 year old. You're not, you don't have a lot going on. You can't have that much going on. I'm the adult. I have to have the one that's a lot going on. Like, I, that's how some people are. Well, uh, I guess some parents. And, like, I'm just like, yeah, I know you're the parent. I'm the teenager. But just like, I have a lot going on too. I mean, I have to deal with her at three o'clock also. Like, it, it's just a lot right now, guys. Like, it, I'm not. Uh, it's not okay. <laughs> But yeah, just don't look at a teenager or somebody that's younger than you and think that they don't have a lot going on. Just because they do school at home or whatever it is doesn't mean they have a lot going on, you know? So, just wanted to put that out there. But yeah, I'm just not doing, I haven't been doing the greatest ever since she passed, to be honest. It's just, it built up on me today and I took it out and that's wrong of me. I, I'll admit this, I'm in the wrong. Like I took my anger out on my little sisters and my mom. I'm sorry. I I mean this, I'm sorry. Like I was just in a bad mood. I ate. I'm a little bit better. I'm just a little bit more, I mean, a little bit more, I'm just still a little overwhelmed, of course, I mean, I have a lot going on, but, like, yeah, I just miss her really bad, and, like, I lost, we lost a family member we've had for eight years, eight or seven years, and it's just a big deal, especially to me, because I was five when I literally saw that cat be born, and now she's passed away, like, she's in kitty cat heaven, like, it just makes me really sad, but yeah, I can tell, guys, that the cat really understood me. Just makes me really sad that she's not here. And I was crying while I was eating my lunch just because, like, it's just a lot, like, I have a lot going on in my head right now. Like, some thoughts I'm not even done with. Like, see, like, being a teenager, man, just kind of sucks. I mean, it kind of does, but it also is kind of fun at the same time. It's like 50-50 just wrong timing for everything going on right now like my cat my ela my freaking math tutor she, she hasn't been super mean but just like still she's hard to deal with like it's just a lot like i said if you guys were in my shoes hopefully you guys would understand where i'm coming from you know i'm not saying that you don't i'm just saying but anyway, guys, make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell like on my videos i upload from me on roblox as you see name cc let me, hold on, let me come into talk and chat to any of those videos, and also ask me some questions. Thank you, the questions will have to be on here, but it's Kobe the Virgo. Love you guys, see you guys later, bye!